Hi, Aquarius. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is your reading for, I'm in a good mood. This is your reading for uh, November, no, December. I always mess up at least one. December 11th through the 18th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Um, I offer private readings. Private readings are on sale until December 15th, $50 for 30 minutes. I also have scarves on sale through December 15th. Perfect Christmas gift. Um, all the information is on my community page and the links will be below. And um, I, I got a little song, um, Games People Play. You ever hear Games People Play? The Spinners, look it up. I think the Spinner, the Spinners were one of my favorite groups. One of my favorite groups. Oh, the Temptations and the Tops and the OJs, they were all great. But I loved the Spinners. Anyway, so look it up. And I just looked up the lyrics. So he's like, he's worrying about, you know, he's thinking about his love and he's all blue and he's like sort of walking around in a daze. I mean, this is like the, and then at the end of the day, He's walking to the subway because I felt so all alone. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then he hears his name. And so like, that's the energy. It's like, oh, well, you know, my dreams didn't come true. You know, things aren't really working out for me. I feel so all alone and I'm all blue. I'm going to walk to the subway really slow. And then it's like, darling, darling. <laughs> So don't give up hope. I think that's the energy. Don't give up hope. It really kind of matches with the um, the weekly and and you know the for the collective and kind of all of them have you know sometimes they're like they're not really combined. But you're my tenth sign. And, you know I do a different order every week. And listen, you know, go watch the spinners on YouTube. You know, it'll bring you some joy. And I think that they were. I think they were from Pittsburgh. I'm not sure. All right. They. I think maybe after the videos, yeah, it's late. It's like eleven thirty at night, and for me, this is like oh, you know high noon. Like I feel so awake. I've been drinking coffee too. <laughs> I think after the videos, I'm going to watch some Spinner's videos. They had a lot of good songs. They really did. All right. I told you I'm in a good mood. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. I, the Ace of Wands is really interesting. <clears throat> Because the Ace of Wands is fertile, you know, and it's new and it's for, and it's like excited and, you know, like I'm going to start a new project. And then I have the Four of Wands, which is really about stability. You know, it's like. You know, it's not. The, the Ace of Wands is like. It's the one that even though that, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is really the earth plane. I just feel like the Ace of Wands, even though it's fire and instinct and uh, desire, th there's something really solid about it. There's something really solid about it. It's like you can plant it. And then, you know, I get the Four of Wands. So it's like, this is not like a, a pipe dream. This is like something that like makes sense and I'm going to plant it in the earth and stably watch it grow because I'm following my intuition, you know, and I'm paying attention to the signals. And I get the full. Yeah, it's a whole new ball game. And, you know, it's interesting. Since the full moon, everything has opened up for everyone. It, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I, I kind of wanted to say this before to other signs, but it's almost like the new year, new year has begun. It's already December. You know, it's mid-December. And it's like, you know how, yeah, everyone's like, oh, what are you doing New Year's Eve? What are you doing New Year's Eve? 
And I might go out, but I probably won't. A lot of times, like in New York, I never really went out. It's so crazy. And I, I'm just not into the crazy. I'm just not into like, oh, it's New Year's. I'm so not into that. I'm so not into that. For me, it's a time of like reflection to see where I've been and what's going on in the past year. And like, you know, what I, you know, it's like an inventory time in a way. And I feel like it's already started you know, of like where I've been or where you've been, you know, what's happened, what's transpired, how I felt, what went right, what didn't go right, who's in my life, who's not in my life. And it's like, um, okay, you know, now that I kind of have like a clear view, it's like, okay, I have a clear view of the past and now I'm moving forward into the future. I know where I stand. Yeah, to establish something. To establish something. To establish something that's going to be solid and stable. And organized. Mm, and I'm ready to execute my plan with confidence. You know what I, I'm beginning to understand lately about the chariot? So the chariot is, um, he's young, but he's not very young. He's not young like a child. He's young like someone who just graduated from college. And <clears throat> there's an energy in the chariot. It's about, se it's a seven, it's confidence. It's about moving quickly. But he's going to execute his plan. It's almost be quite, not because he has to prove anything to anybody else, but because he wants to prove it to himself. And that's almost more of an impetus than to do it for other people, right? And so like the, it's like that, you know, a lot of times the home team wins because they have that extra energy behind them. You know, it's like, yeah, they're all rooting for us. Let's go, right? As opposed to you go to some, you know, another city and they're like, boo, boo, you know, <laughs> it helps when everyone's like, yay, it helps. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're yaying yourself. I should be a poet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the, you, you, you drew a line in the sand, you know, and it's like, the, there's an interesting energy also in the nine of wands. The nine of wands is like, he's embattled, basically. And so he's at this moment in the battle where it's like, okay, uh, I'm constricted in this way, but sometimes there's an energy in the nine of wands of like, uh, I, 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 I'm going to pick myself up to fight another day. But today it feels like maybe I have all these obstacles and I'm going to utilize them. I'm going to utilize them, right? This is, these are my limits. And this, you know, like, this is the box that I have to um, grow in, that I have to uh, work with. And, you know, maybe I can push the limits a little bit because I'm empowered. That's what I'm getting today. Yeah, because I'm strong enough and I'm being guided. And, um, I'm going to form a union. I'm going to form a union with spirit to empower me toward manifestation and toward a new story. Mm -hmm. Begin and end with an ace. What could be lovelier? A million trillion thousand dollars. <laughs> You know, people, they go, oh, I want a Maserati or I want a, I don't know, uh, whatever it is. I'm not, I don't drive, so I don't, I want a car with a driver. That's what I want. Oh, yeah, I really love to drive. It's like, I really like sitting in the back seat. And if there's a flat, it's your problem. You know, I'll be in the back, right? Do my makeup. And if you hit a bump, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know and here we are the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles 
you know, they're a nice combination, actually. And it's funny that I talked about the Ace of Pentacles earlier. The Ace of Pentacles is such a fascinating card. You know, the Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity, a new opportunity to be financially stable, a new opportunity for money, a new opportunity for um, time. The Pentacles are also time and the gift of time. Um, because the Pentacles represent anything in the Earth plane. And the Ace of Pentacles, out of all the cards in the deck, out of the 78, is the clear, clear, clear road. The clear, clear, clear road. It's like, it's very clear. I know exactly where I'm going. Oh, you got to make a left. You got to make a right. Look at the gas station. I'm like, no, just go straight ahead. Just go straight ahead. I know what the limits are. I know, you know, like I know the road. I know the road. And I know I don't have to make a right. I don't have to make a left. I just go straight ahead. Right. That's where it's at. Right in front of me. It's like a fool. I mean, what a, what a reading. Actually, all the readings this week have been really empowered. Okay. Um, a new inspiration that's, that's, you know, solid. It was given to me through inspiration. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because well, I read all these, three, these two cards for me always have a lot in common because they're both in touch, with, in, 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 uh, touch with the third eye, both of them. They're being led by something larger than themselves. They're being led by their own inner vision that they've seen, you know, this new opportunity that they've seen in their mind's eye right? Your, their soul is leading them. And it's like, yeah, I know what the obstacles are, but I'm, I'm, um, I, I, I've combined with spirit, right? And so I know where I'm going. Really, really focus. You know, it's a real fixed sign kind of reading. And, you know, I know I've talked about this before, you know, I'm a Scorpio, and I have Leo Moon, and I have Saturn in Aquarius. So I'm very fixed, and I can get very um, laser-focused. Laser-focused, nothing gets in my way. I have a goal, and I am going to accomplish my goal. And like, that's the energy. That, and like, I'm not, the, you know, the noise in the background, the people in the way. You know, it's a nice background. I'm going to get to where I'm going. That's the energy. A really, really empowered, stable, visionary road forward. There's a, a lot of forward movement. A lot, a lot of forward movement. I feel like there's this energy of, you know, the past few years with, you know, everything that's going on or every, all this weirdness and um, it's almost like we've sat in bed long enough. It's almost like we've all sat in bed long enough. And it's like, okay, I was recuperating you know, it was like I had the operation and then there was six weeks of laying in bed, you know, like the energy of, and it's like, okay, now, like, it's almost like the spring has begun. It's almost like, okay, you know, time to get out of the house, time to like go out and, you know, after my dreams, that's it. You know, I, I, I know what the limits are, I know what the limits aren't. It's like, that's okay. Let's go. It's like that. That's the energy. Blessings.